This is the only one of its kind in the world. That was a research plane. Um, you can see that it's got no tail plane and the, the wing tips swiveled. So it was just uh, it was a checking how the aircraft would perform. And they're rebuilding it here, little by little. And whenever this came on the market, a lot of people thought it was named after Trevor Pansy, because Pansy and Roy flying whenever, I think it was 52. So this is flying 50 51. Um, George, to me, was never very imaginative of the first naming their aircraft. So this is actually started for short and hard, experimental research <laughs> prototype aircraft. <laughs> and to me, that's more like where they got the name Sherpa from. We bought this. Originally, we bought the fuselage off. Well, we paid to get it transported here, and then about two two years after that, the Imperial War Museum, um, they were rationalising anything that wasn't war related. They wanted rid of, and of course, it was built as a research aircraft, so they wanted rid of it. And um, we said to the girl, "Look, we've already paid to get it back to Belfast. It was made in Belfast. It flew in Northern Ireland. We think it should stay here." And she said, I agree with you. So I'm going to give you a bit of advice. She says, don't be bidding to pay a lot of money because no one else is after it and no one else is bidding big money for any of the other aircraft. So I've told the committee, let's go £2,000. Once it had finished flying, it got all the figures, facts of figures, it went to the back of the hangar 